Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fermilab's virtual open house. I'm Nigel Lockyer, the director of Fermilab, and I'm delighted to be kicking off this first of a kind event. In a few minutes, Becky Thompson, our head of education and public engagement, will tell you what you can expect to get in the next five days. She and her team have planned an exciting schedule of games, entertainment, lab tours, and science demos. It will be a good time and it will have you cheering for science. We wish we could host you here in person, interacting with our incredible staff face to face. However, at this time, we are thrilled to bring all of this to you through the amazing technology that is the internet. This very event coming into your home through fiber optic cables, satellite, Wi-Fi, cellular technologies is, it, is an example of the kind of scientific and engineering feat that we celebrate in our open house. Part of the Fermilab mission is to inspire future generations to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, and we take this mission seriously. Our staff actively engage with the community to promote STEM, and I'm proud to say that every year we reach more than 100,000 students, educators, and community members. A group that, thanks to our virtual offerings, is growing from a local community to an increasingly global fan base. We love that we can reach so many, especially since we have so much to share. For example, we're leading the way in the study of the mysterious particles called neutrinos, and soon we'll be hosting the most advanced neutrino research program in the world, the International Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, or DUNE, uh, to get a better handle on these weird and wonderful particles. We're also building a new state-of-the-art superconducting particle accelerator called PIP2 to generate the most powerful neutrino beams we need for neutrino research. And we're fast becoming a leader in quantum information science. Last summer, we started the Superconducting Quantum Materials and Systems Center, SQMS, which is working to build a revolutionary quantum computer Quantum computing will completely change how we do research and it will have impacts in our everyday lives, in medicine, the environment, industry, national security, and communication. These are the kinds of opportunities that inspired me to go into science, opportunities to change how we do our work, even up our end, upend our understanding of how nature works. These next few days will give you a taste of these kinds of opportunities. You may already know what you love about science, or this may be your first science venture. Whatever the case may be, this virtual open house will have something for you. Think of it as a science sampling. Try things, find out what excites you. Let yourself be inspired, catch the science bug. You may find as I did that nothing matches the joy of discovery. And we hope you experience that joy again and again over the next five days. I now introduce to you our Department of Energy Site Office Manager, Rick Verhagen. Thank you, Nigel. And welcome everyone to Fermilab's first virtual open house. As Nigel said, I'm the new manager of the Department of Energy Site Office located here at Fermilab. And that means that I'm the federal employee with responsibility for everything that happens at the Fermilab and I'm the main connection of the Department of Energy's Office of Science. I came here through an untraditional route. Right out of high school, I enlisted in the Navy, and for eight years, I worked as an electronics technician. Then the Navy sent me to school to get bachelor's and master's degrees in mathematics, after which I received my commission and spent 13 years serving on submarines. When I retired from the Navy in 2008, I was a nuclear engineer by trade and a mathematician by education, not traditional. I then joined a small independent federal government agency conducting oversight of various Department of Energy sites performing work related to nuclear science and defense. Eventually, I got another master's degree, this time in nuclear engineering. So I finally had an education that matched what I was doing in my job. Like I said, my career route was atypical. While I didn't take a straight path from high school to college to grad school to job, every step along the way shared a common thread, the importance of science. And that's the nice thing about science. You can learn it outside the ivy-covered walls of the university classroom. 
Of course, if you want to pursue science in school, I hope you go for it with gusto. But opportunities to learn science is all around us, like on a submarine. And as you'll find out in this virtual open house, you can learn science in your kitchen, in your backyard, discovery is everywhere. Now I'm at Fermilab where discovery drives everything. That's why I'm excited to be here. And I'm also excited that we have this chance to show you all the lab is doing to expand our understanding of nature and how you can be a part of it. Welcome to Fermilab, enjoy your virtual adventures.